Hello, Virgo friends. For those of you who've been here before, welcome back. And for those of you who it's your first time, welcome. I'm Denise, this is Surrender to the Flow Tarot. And today I'll be doing a monthly reading for April for the collective of Virgo. Any of the 11 placements Virgo can be in, they will all work. I do monthly readings week by week. So week one, two, three, four, how's it start and how's it end? And then I'll pull an oracle card at the very end um, overall for the month for you. So this month we are using the Native Heart Healing Oracle. And when we get to this part, I will hold up the card. They have mandalas on them, so you can screenshot the mandala. And then I will hold up the book for there's a medi mandala meditation that's pretty wordy. So I've been holding it up so you can screenshot it and do it on your own if you want. And the tarot that we're using is from the T Key Tarot Love deck, which look at this adorable box, but look at the inside of this box. That's a crystal. The creator made this so that it, there would be an altar with you everywhere you go. And wait till you see the art. It's so fucking awesome. I love it. Okay, so I will have timestamps in the description box below for each week so you can come back and watch each week or watch them as they come, whatever, whatever, it's up to you. I do that for you guys so it is easier access for you all. Are you ready, Virgos? That was the Eight of Wands. Okay, ready? Week one, we're gonna start with week one. How does it start? How does week one start? I'm spending my Saturday evening with you, Virgo. You and Leo so far. I might do Libra too. I don't know. We'll see. It's getting late. Okay. Week one. How's it start for Virgo? Didn't fall. The three of pentacles and the five of pentacles. Huh, it's that feeling left out. Feeling like you're a community that you're in that you don't fit in or you don't belong. The Knight of Swords in the upright, which is Gemini um, or Aquarius. So it could be any air sign, it doesn't have to be any, but what it is is swift action and it's the fastest moving night in the deck. It's being very clear. It's clear, de decisive action. And it's clear that could be a message or it could be like a cutting out, you know what I mean? But it's not taking any shit. That's what it is. It's separating the truth from the untruth. How is week one ending for you? How's it ending? The hangman. Okay, so there's a pause. So there's a lot. So it starts like with a lot of quick action. You're cutting stuff out. You're realizing things. You're moving, making moves. And then it ends with a pause because there's a different perspective needed. Okay, week two. How's it start? Why did I just want french fries? I do not know where they came from. French fries with ketchup. <laughs> Five of wands. That is when you are supposed to be part of a team working toward the same goal, but you feel separated and you feel like a dissonance. You don't feel like you measure up. There's like some kind of conflict in there. So we'll see, we'll see. How is week to end for Virgo? The Eight of Cups. you walking away from whatever doesn't fulfill you and moving toward your emotional fulfillment. It's moving from the eight of cups to the 10, going towards your, oh, you're going for it. You're going for it. And it's not easy. It's something your heart is very tied to. Okay, week three. But whatever it's been, you've been in has not been easy either. And it's felt like a fight more than it's felt like you're on the same team. The Page of Swords is how you start week three. So that's very much gathering information so you can make a decision about something or someone. And it's, there's, you don't know enough yet to, to, to know what, what to do decisively, definitively. Do you know what I mean? Like you're still, there's a mistrust there. 
a level of it. All right, how's week three end for Virgo? The Emperor, which is Aries, doesn't have to be. Okay. I don't know if that's you. There's a sweetness to this emperor. There's a sadness to this emperor too. Quiet strength. Someone who, em who embodies quiet strength. You wouldn't fuck with them. They're fierce, but they're gentle. They're gentle, but they will, they will break your neck. You know what I mean? Like that if they have to, but they don't want to. And that's not how, but they will without, without hesitation, but only if necessary. You feel me? It's like that. Someone really strong, but who knows, who wields their power very intuitively and measured. All right, week four, how's it starting? So whoever is embodying that energy, that's who the emperor is for you. Week four is judgment. That's a call happening, and that's hopefully answering the call for you. And how's week four end? It ends with three cards, the nine of cups, the four of pentacles, and the high priestess. <laughs> Look at this. Okay. You're blocking your own growth. You're trying to work it out though. How many you got? One, two, three, four major arcana. Everybody's been heavy on the major arcana. It's big time for the collective right now. Okay, five, because you got on the bottom, you got the sun. So this is about you being in your uh, highest authentic self and maintaining that state. And the chariot, you got six major arcana and strength underneath that seven. Jeez Louise, that's Leo. Okay, so this is something requiring you to go within, to count on yourself for, for you, with your own and for your own abilities that you are capable and come out strong in your sense of self. So strong. You got two, you have the nine of pentacles and the sun. These are like two of the most standing in your authentic power possible cards. This is awesome. The hermit, which is you underneath the nine of pentacles. So throughout this is also the eight of cups. So this is about love. You're learning about love, unconditional love, um, the frequency of love, the manifestations of love, how it shows up, how love is tied in, the love frequency is tied into intuition, all of those things, right? It's also tied into you creating the foundation for yourself for, and, and for your energetic reserve, right? And filling it up so that you have an overflow. That's what's underlying all of this. Your goal is to stand in your truest, authentic self. So, okay, Virgo, go for it, okay? All right, so we're going to get started on week one. Sometimes I can't read my own writing. Okay, so that's the Knight of Swords, and it ends with the Hangman. I'm just going to show you guys these again. Aren't these dope cards? There's such a gentleness to this, but there's like a strength throughout this whole entire thing, but there's a gentle wielding of it. You know what I mean? Okay. How is this Knight of Swords energy showing up for Virgo? The Three of Pentacles. So it's a collaboration. It's some. It's someone you're co-creating with or someone's. Showing up is another major arcana, the moon, which is Cancer or Pisces. It's showing up as intuition guided and also possibly truths coming. Yep, truths coming in the form of communication, the Eight of Wands and the King of Cups, which is Scorpio, but doesn't have to be. Okay, 
you are seeing the truth about whoever this King of Cups is for you. And it's causing you to take action. There's action now. And there's something else. So let's see what you need to know about the hangman. What is what is this perspective that um, Virgo needs to consider? Temperance. The magician. Okay, you have to look at how you're manifesting. Learn more about manifesting. Meaning, what constitutes manifestation? Manifestate, yeah. What else? The Nine of Swords. And one more. This perspective. The Two of Wands. The Seven of Wands. The Eight of Pentacles. Yep. The Knight of Wands. The Page of Wands. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Wands. Okay, this perspective has to do with how much work is put into something how much work you are putting into being your most authentic self and the things that you want for yourself and how much um, you're accepting from people who are collaborating with you and co-creating with you. And I think it's trying to kind of like balance all of the different energies out. And there's a slight imbalance of energies. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of chemistry, right? There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of shared purpose. But one is more here while it's good, here while it feels good to them and then gone. And the other one is here, open, just open, you know? I think that's you, the open one. Okay. It also has to do with Knowing when to pull back over apologizing. Do you know what I mean? Um, people pleasing. It has to do with people pleasing. That's how the seven of wands is coming up for you as not as a need to defend yourself, but it is because the other part of that is, but as people pleasing and to look at that, that's what you need to look at. What triggers that? What's underneath it? What still needs to be healed there? Because it causes a lot of stress for you and so much dissonance for you. This temperance card though, that's using faith as a compass. That is a strength of timing, of, of surrender, surrendering of control. So it's learning for you, learning how to do that, learning how to stay in the flow and learning how to trust in it and trust in yourself and understanding the way, the things that pull you out of your alignment that have to do with whatever this truth is that is coming to you with this Knight of Swords. You know what, we're gonna ask that. What's the truth if you wanna tell us? because the moon came out. But what's the truth that Virgo is learning from this Knight of Swords? What's the truth? If you, if you can share that with us. Okay. Literally, look at... It says truth. The Seven of Swords. The Five of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. It has to do with energetic foundations, foundations in general, this relationship, the foundation of it, what was it built on? There's a feeling of, of rejection in here. That's all up in here. And there's a feeling of betrayal.
The Queen of Swords is on the bottom. The Seven of Pentacles is on the split and the Seven of Cups. about staying stuck like staying in a perpetual mode of something almost of like healing and a perpetual mode of working on yourself but not actually getting far do you know what I mean it's look at your commitment to that look at your commitment to being honest with yourself honest with yourself and 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 what you expect or what you require in a partner, how they need to show up for you, what equality means and looks like for you in a partnership and for your partner. So you, that's something for you to figure out, okay? And be clear upon on that as clear as possible. Let's go to week two. So we're gonna do a lot of figuring out in this first week some discovering and uncovering, and then how to deal with it. So in week two, you head into the five of wands and you leave at the eight of cups. Look at the similarities, right? It's like you're taking these little bits of information and feelings and you're putting it all together and it's moving you into week three, which is the page of swords and the emperor, but it's, it's propelling you into motion, this five of wands. So how is the five of wands showing up for Virgo? How's the five of wands showing up? How is the five of wands showing up? whole lot came out. Okay. The ace of wands sideways going into the reverse, the six of swords and the world. Wow. And the star. All right. The ace of wands going into the reverse, the six of swords and the world. And then the star. This is very intense. This is really week two is like boom, 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 like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. But it, but it, you turn. It's it's good. It's not easy, but it, but it's positive at the end of all of this. Okay, so there was a new beginning for you to come into some kind of collaboration with someone that you were you were feeling very passionate about this. It could be for all different reasons, but it was exciting to you. And it was ex it's like this new exciting thing for you to explore. But there's a pause on it because there's something about it that isn't in alignment with you. And there's some kind of behaviors happening that aren't for your, they, they, they're, they infringe on your boundaries. So you have removed yourself from the situation. You completely separate. Doesn't mean it's forever, but it means it, it's for now. And it's for you to rebuild your um, energetic reserve up. And you are stopping the cycles, old cycles that you participated in, in whatever the situation is. You're stopping it. You're ended it, you've ended it. You're not gonna enter into something that's not equal, that's not giving back to you. You're not gonna enter into anything that's not gonna contribute to your highest vibrational good and to your every dream come true. You've done so much work and your life has been difficult and you deserve and have earned this reward from the universe. You have earned this break, you have earned it. It's getting clearer to you Who's on your side? Who isn't? What are the things you're doing? Like, what are the cycles you're perpetuating? And what are the energy you're putting out there to like what you're attracting into you? You know what I mean? Okay. 
the eight of cups. So you go from that to you're walking away. So you, so you separate yourself so you can gain clarity and refill yourself. And what you come out of that is in a, you're leaving whatever doesn't fulfill you. You've closed out the cycle. Again, it doesn't mean that it's done forever, but it means whatever it was is done. You aren't accepting that anymore. It wasn't in alignment with you. You feel me? So what are Virgo, what are they moving toward? That's, what is Virgo moving toward? The Ace of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Passion, equality, safety, just good deliciousness, um, reciprocity. It's exciting, though. You're moving towards something that excites you. The idea of it excites you and it stirs up like your soul, your soul purpose. You know what I mean? So what are they walking toward, Virgo? The Ten of Pentacles. That's so beautiful you are. You are building your legacy. Don't give up. Keep following the things that make you feel good. Keep following it, okay? Keep going. Oh, that's beautiful, Virgo. What does the Ten of Pentacles currently look like for Virgo? The Four of Swords in reverse. It looks like action, taking action, not staying in a perpetual state of healing or stagnation, you know, but letting yourself, taking care of the care and keeping of you and your hierarchical needs and all of that. And once that's done, not just staying there, but then now moving toward your goal, actually moving toward your goal. Letting things fall apart that don't serve you. Go ahead, Virgo. Okay, week three. I'm so sweaty right now. It's so gross. Okay. <laughs> it starts with the Page of Swords and ends with the Emperor. So, hello. Is your person, like, stepping into their power? Are you keeping an eye on them? Or are they keeping an eye on you? This is you gathering intel. You're gathering intel on things that are going to help you go to your Ten of Pentacles. So how is this Page of Swords energy showing up for Virgo? As the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. Oh my word, Virgo! You are really dedicated to getting everything you've ever dreamt of. There's a, there's, there's a fire in you now. There's, there's a a force pushing you and it's you you're pushing you the knight of wands and the three of wands again it's something that you're really excited about and drawn to and you're making the moves you're making the moves you're going you're letting your passion drive you because you can trust it right and you're starting to make the moves kudos okay what is this emperor energy so how is this emperor energy showing up for Virgo? The two of pentacles. So that's trying to juggle the eight of swords in reverse. This is clarity that you've gained on something you were really not feeling secure about. It's showing up as in their, in their power, in their strength. It could be you. How else is this emperor showing up? The ace of pentacles in reverse. Let's do another one. Two. The ace of cups, which came up before, and the justice in reverse. Okay. The ace of swords, jeez Louise, and the page of pentacles. The Page of Cups on your... Okay, so this is all about truth, clarity, clear communication, learning how to use your voice, trusting in yourself. Under You're, you're gathering 
all of the foundation, the information that will be the foundation for the rest of your life, right? It's going to solidify who you are, which is going to in turn build your, like your generational wealth. Do you know what I'm saying? Like all of that, you're built, you're working on your stability on all of that. And you were, you're looking at this emperor is showing up as someone dedicated to the understanding of of themselves, of, of how they can show up for themselves and how they can master the things that their heart is um, pulled to and how they can be open and doing it in a way that's transparent. Transparent. This is really, hold on. Look at, the, look at this. It almost feels like two people, so I'm going to read it as that. But look at this. Look at that. Right? These two came out together and those two came out together, but look how they are when they're on top of each other. It's very much like two separate energies going on here. The love is here in this, how this emperor is showing up. This emperor is working on their their own anxieties on their own their on their on their own integrity why why is the ace of pentacles in reverse I feel like they're trying to still Make amends. I almost think it could be that things are showing up in a way that is unexpected and so they might be being missed. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? The tower, okay, falling apart, of crumbling so the, the lovers just fell out. The whole foundation of this relationship needs to go so that justice can be served. It needs to be rectified and the foundation can start over. So it can start over, right? The Six of Cups, that's a past life soulmate. It's uh, moving into the reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a person not in their power No, actually, the Knight of Pentacles is you. Um, and in reverse, well, hmm. They're working on themselves and it's taking a long effing time. I don't think this is you, even though you are the Knight of Pentacles. If the emperor energy is you, then this is all you. If it's not you, they're moving really slow. Or you are you because they're not ready. You are halting. You haven't let go fully of it. You're taking moves to go forward, but they're little ones because part of you is still attached to this. The Wheel of Fortune and the Page of Cups. The 
But why is the Justice card in reverse? Three of Cups. Hmm. The Ace of Swords. And sideways. There's still a truth that's not... This energy is tied up to something else. And they're not, there's something about it that isn't clear. It wants to be a stable, loving energy, but it doesn't know how. It's trying to figure it out. It's confused, the Page of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Can you give me one, what energy Virgo can embody at the end of week three? This is a Twilight Major Arcana only deck that my kid got me for my birthday. It's pretty dope. Okay, what is the energy that Virgo can um, embody at the end of week three to get them through this? The star, which is Renesme. It's going into the reverse. Um, it's going that way. So, justice in the higher font. To embrace the energy of the star is to be giving yourself so much love, no matter what's going on around you, and keeping yourself as measured and, and stable and centered as possible. And the universe is going to, beautiful things are going to happen. So look for the beauty, but keep your focus on you and actively do that. That's how you're going to get through this, whatever's going on with the emperor. I'd love to know in the comments, but don't worry about it. No worries. Okay, so week four. A lot of cards out. Starts with judgment and it ends with the Four of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Okay. Your intuition is trying to guide you, but you are still holding on to something. You're holding on. There's a holding on here. There's a holding on. What is the judgment? What is the call that Virgo is being called to? What is it? Death. It's a metamorphosis. You're being called to meta. It's and it's you and your partner. This whole thing, but it starts with you. This whole thing needs a metamorphosis, but you need a metamorphosis separately. The Queen of Wands in the Hierophant again. It's, a, it's about soul contracts. And it's about you becoming your, your most authentic, powerful self. The not people-pleasing. The, the strong in your idea of who you are and of strong voice for yourself and fierce and loyal and protective and nurturing and creating, you know, it's all of those things. It's time for you to blossom into your fierce fucking self. You're a catch. Don't settle for anything less than that. And it's time to stop letting people fucking take advantage of you. Yeah. Okay. What can Virgo do to let this death happen? Jeez. The Page of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups sideways going into the upright. Two pages. Hierophant again on the split now and the sun on the bottom. Okay. It is for you to tap into your Akashic Records do rituals that have to do with your ancestors. Really do this. Do rituals that have to do with 
the earth, get with mother nature, whatever that is, get yourself out there in it, get yourself really diving into and taking a beginner student mind at love, how you show up all of the parts of that and of dedication and commitment, mastering you, mastering the regulation of your emotions calling in all of your ancestral knowledge though that's really important okay so like week three a week four how's it end <sighs> so you see this call to you and you see you need to metamorphosize right that's what's going on and it's clear to you now week four like how i mean and i just told you so <laughs> it's only week one so um once you realize all those things where you are is in a kind of like a battle between being afraid to move on and like clinging on to what you know and what is safe. Cause like your life is all right. Like it's good enough. You're not made for good enough. You're made for excellent, amazing, awesome, incredibleness. And you know that. And your high priestess is telling you that, right? So how is this four of pentacles showing up for Virgo? showing up as needing to take a leap of faith forward needing to just go full lean into the judgment full lean into the metamorphosis and go and let go of the shit that you're holding on to that's keeping you keeping you stuck the pain the unhealed wounds do one thing at a time right the queen of cups and the two of swords it's about be, it's it's about aligning your 3D and your 5D, your knowing and your being. Let's just see what are the two things that um, Virgo is trying. I mean, the Queen of Cups, right? It's about becoming this this source of love, unconditional love of becoming fully you, of blooming into fully you, and maintaining it. But what are the two things, what is, what is the area that Virgo is still trying to bring into alignment? What is the part that's out of alignment for this two of swords, the three of wands? You taking action, proper action, proper steps. And part of that is being in the full energy and letting yourself lean into surrendering to the flow and doing what's required from you and then letting the universe come in. The Page of Wands, drawn to things that you're pulled toward. I think maybe you're not sure about them. The King of Wands underneath the Page of Wands. The King of Wands is Leo, but it can be any fire sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, doesn't have to be any of them. Okay, so that's three wands of what you're trying to bring into alignment. So that is harnessing your energe your raw energetic, your impulses. Harnessing your impulses and balancing your desires. Giving your space, taking good care of yourself and getting yourself grounded with the earth so that your intuition is the thing that is leading you always. Make sense? All right, let's pull one final card for you from the healing, Native Heart Healing Oracle. All right, Virgo. A lot of self becoming. April, it's not going to be totally easy. It's going to be full, but you're going to, but you're blossoming. Okay. You're blossoming in this. You're on that journey. Surrender and goddess butterfly. Goddess butterfly and surrender literally we just talked about it right <laughs> wow i just hit myself in the face with that record keeper akashic records right is that what this is going to be heart chakra yes number four record keeper okay so screenshot this now i'm fucking cold again dude what come on son Ay. okay Record keeper. 
your divine path, shared learning, the wisdom of an elder. So you want to look out for rose pink, the color, hand chakras, ear chakras, heart chakra, air element, music, vibration, song, divine blueprint, wisdom, whales. This mandala holds the energy of the great halls of wisdom and brings forth divine guidance of the ancient ways. The great halls of wisdom contain all that we are and have been. That could be the earth, that could be mother nature for some of you, okay? You might get information from mother nature, do you understand? It is a library of divine wisdom that just as each soul continues to grow is ever evolving. The great halls also contain divine blueprints or one's Akashic records. Beyond the earthly plane, the record keeper also contains ancient keys that can unlock sacred teachings from advanced civilizations that inhabit alternative planes of existence. To access information from the great halls of wisdom, one must listen with an open heart, Queen of Cups, and with no expectations, for there is a consciousness held within, and only those that seek with pure intention will gain entry. You are being called to bring higher ways of being into your present life for the greater good. Yes, that's getting out of the stuckness, right? It's letting yourself expand. This mandala seeks to unite each person one at a time to increase awareness and expansion by harmoniously blending ancient ways within modern times. It is time for you to be aware of the birth of a melodic sound vibration that will sing to the song lines across the globe. Okay. Here is the meditation start, and here's where it ends. I'm just going to hold the whole thing up so you can screenshot it. Okay. Virgo, I hope that this was helpful, and thank you for coming and sharing your energy with me, and thanks for coming and holding space for me so that I could try to translate the messages and relay them for you. Um, I will see you in like two weeks at your mid-monthly reading. Until then, bye, Virgo.